Here we go. Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's a pleasure to join you all up here on the mountain. I guess this is the closest thing Brockton has to a mountain. Uh, I don't usually appreciate the clouds, but I think this morning the cloud cover was a blessing. I wasn't looking forward to being up here in the scorching sun. Uh, this is our Thatcher Street uh, solar project, solar field project that, that's been in development and construction for a couple of years now. And we're excited today to officially announce the completion of the project and that the uh, solar field is now online generating clean renewable energy. Uh, there are a number of folks, I, I can't even begin to describe uh, how many folks were involved uh, in this project at some point in time. Uh, but I, I want to make sure I mention at least a, a few of our city folks along with our partners at Onyx. Uh, Jay Condon, our CFO, the, the math that's involved to figure out how you work with a partner, uh, generate revenue for the city, value the net metering credits and all of those things. Uh, Jay was instrumental in crunching the numbers for us. Uh, our DPW Commissioner, Larry Rowley, uh, who this site is under his supervision, uh, was instrumental along with Pat Hill from DPW, and also our city solicitor, Phil Nesrala. There was a lot of work and a lot of contracts involved for the legal department to put this uh, together. Uh, Onyx has been, uh, Onyx Renewable Partners has been a great partner for the city of Brockton for us to work with. Uh, this project had a false start. Uh, with a, another developer originally uh, left us somewhat in limbo and the fact of the matter is that Onyx Renewable Partners stepped in, picked up the project, ran with it and uh, got it done for us and, and we appreciate their role in this and we appreciate having them as a partner uh, in that project. Uh, and so along those lines, uh, I'd like to turn this over for a minute to John Drexinger, who is the Senior Vice President of Business and Project Development for Onyx, uh, so that he can tell you a little bit about uh, their role in developing this project in partnership with the City of Brockton. Uh, thank you, Mayor. And I'd just like to, to also follow up, you know, we, we really appreciate the work that everybody at the city of Brockton and, and the staff did. You know, it took a lot of cooperation from um, many different parties to get this project approved before we started the construction. Um, and then from there, my coworkers, Greg Kuslas, our, our VP of construction, and Brian DeMay, our project manager, along with um, Conti Construction and uh, Coughlin Electric, the subcontract. You know, it took a lot of work to build this project during the winter time and through some tough conditions and these guys did a great job, and through this whole thing, the city has been uh, very supportive of this, and uh, as well as National Grid. So, I thank you guys all for coming out, and and you know it's it's going to be a great project for the city of Brockton, and we look forward to a long uh, partnership together. So, thank you. Thanks, John. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. I uh, would also be remiss if I didn't uh, also acknowledge and thank uh, for their role in the project IBEW Local 223. Uh, one of the things that excited us about this project is the fact that it was a, uh, a union construction project and uh, 223 has been a great partner to the city also. And uh, it's hard to believe standing up here today, but at one point this winter, we had about 75 people working up here in the middle of the winter building this project uh, under very uh, adverse conditions. So uh, to our friends at 223, we appreciate all your work on this project as well. You know, Brockton's got a, a long history of being at the, at the forefront of energy innovation and development. And for folks, uh, some folks may not realize that Thomas Edison actually spent several years of his life here in Brockton. And, uh, created many of his inventions while he was here in the city. And uh, one of his most significant inventions was uh, Edison implemented the world's first underground three-wire electrical generation and distribution system here in the city of Brockton. And, you know, that's, that's still the basic model, the framework for how we uh, transmit energy today. So it's, it's really fitting that in the 21st century, we have a 21st century solar field generating electricity, uh, clean, renewable electricity here in the city of Brockton. Um, 
it's also important to realize how significant it is this site because we're standing on the site of a closed landfill and for the city to be able to take a closed landfill a completely non-productive site and uh, be able to now create this solar field here uh, it's a big win for the city and the residents of the city it uh, as part of this project, there were improvements made to the drainage infrastructure that benefits the area. Uh, and just the simple fact that we took a closed brownfield landfill and made it productive again and made it productive generating uh, clean electricity. I don't want to get too much into the scientific numbers, but for people to understand the, uh, the amount of electricity that's being generated here and how this is helping Brockton continue to reduce its carbon footprint, uh, the energy, the clean electricity generated here uh, will offset the emissions of over 12,000 passenger cars in a year. Uh, or also look at the emissions of over 5,500 homes, what they would use for energy for a year. So this is a substantial uh, positive impact in Brockton's efforts to reduce our carbon footprint. There's also a financial incentive here and a financial win for the city too. And, and since we began three and a half years ago, uh, you know, I've consistently talked about our need to develop additional streams of revenue, additional sources of revenue for the city, and that we would look to find and create every source of revenue we can because it's become clear that a city like Brockton cannot survive simply on property tax revenue and state aid. Uh, particularly when you can't rely on the state aid. So the CFO can explain it much better than I can, but in essence, to oversimplify it a little bit, the city is receiving about 25% of the generating capacity of the value of the electricity generated from this site. And that's conveyed to the city in the form of net metering credits, which we're then allowed to spend as money in purchasing our own energy. The value of that is about $320,000 a year to the city. So this has created a revenue stream that's worth over $300,000 a year to the city while accomplishing all the other uh, goals that we talked about. And it fits into our larger plan of reducing our, our carbon footprint and our desire for Brockton to be a clean, sustainable 21st century city. And I think that that was uh, recognized by the state uh, a few months ago when we earned our Green Communities designation. Uh, that was something that was over two years in the works to, to qualify. And this is uh, another piece of our overall strategy uh, for Brockton to be a, a, a clean city. And towards our long-term goal, of someday being able to say we're a net zero city and we're having net impact on the environment through our carbon emissions. Um, just right now, along with this project, uh, Mass Department of uh, Conservation and Recreation is uh, working on planting 2,400 trees across the city to help us replace our tree canopy. And that's a three-year program being done with the state grant. Uh, our uh, DPW working with uh, Mass DEP has been able to receive a grant to help us lease, cover the cost of leasing electric vehicles that run strictly on electricity. And within the next few weeks, uh, you'll see what's probably the largest project of them all, and that is the city begin replacing every single public street light with an LED light. And uh, between city lights and school property, that's about 9,000 lights across the city that will be replaced with an LED. Uh, not only saving the city a substantial amount of money, but also conserving a substantial amount of uh, energy. So uh, we're excited that this project fits into our overall game plan, uh, while at the same time uh, generating a significant amount of revenue for the city each and every year. So I, I just want to again thank our partners at Onyx, uh, all the folks from the city side uh, that were involved in this project, our friends at uh, IBE Local 223 for their work on this project. And uh, we're going to get everyone over to the ribbon and uh, let's cut the ribbon and officially open this place. Three, two, one. Oh, yeah. There we go. Thank you, Sean. Yeah. Yeah.